Hello friends, welcome to bispsolutions.com. My name is Sumit. And as all of you know that Salesforce has recently released their Spring 2018 version on 10th Fab 2018. So they have made couple of changes including selection binding. So therefore I decided to record this video in order to help you to tell you the updated steps or to guide you how to apply selection binding in the updated version of 2018. So first of all, we will look at the existing step, previous step, and then we'll see what are the changes we need to make for making the code work perfectly fine. So let's switch to Salesforce. So that's my Salesforce wave and I'm going to create a new dashboard first. It's a blank dashboard in dashboard designer and I quickly drag and drop a chart and a data set I'm using and in this data set I would be showing sum of sales and in vertical axis I would be showing region to know more about the updates the major changes which has been taken place in 2000 spring 2018 version please go through my previous video where I have demonstrated what other major changes have been taken place in the updated version of Salesforce wave. So this is showing sum of sales with this region wise sum of sales and let me make couple of changes. So I will remove the legend and that's perfectly fine. Now what I'm going to do is I would be requiring a toggle control and that toggle control we are going to bind with a static step. So I drag and drop a toggle control and in this toggle control I'm going to add measures and based on the selections in toggle the, the measure will change for this particular chart particular picture. so I click on toggle change data set and i'm going to create a static step with custom values and i give name as toggle selection total save sum and every sale. So that's the display value which will be visible to the user and that's the value which will be running back. So I just created and you can see a toggle is created. Now first of all let me save this. So I'll just save, save name, name as and uh, I'll just save this in my private app. Let's preview it. Now when I made a selection in total sale or any one of them, it's not changing. So because this toggle is not bind with this widget right now. So we need to explicitly bind it. And one more property I'm going to set that is the initial selection and I'm, I want total sale to be selected as a default one. So in the existing version of wave we used to changes we used to switch to json and the changes we used to do is we simply write so that's the toggle selection so we used to make changes like this so first of all we simple write here sum of uh, i'll simple write here sum of sales and same for average so i'll give average of average of sales and that's will display total sale and in order to bind it we used to change the measure in the step in the region step we used to change the measure and previously we simple write uh, the code which we used to write previously was double brackets and it should be selection and the toggle name toggle underscore selected so this might you have been experienced you might have done in the previous example but when we click on done you see it's showing an error message and it's showing an error message because the underlying step region underscore one so there's an issue with this now how to resolve this issue and in order to resolve this issue, as you can see, uh, there are some changes into it. So, let 
let's preview and go to json so i'm not able to go to go back to json so what i'll do i'll simply close it so that was the issue which we used to face usually so i'll just close it open again and now what we will be doing we'll see the updated version of it and in order to get the updated version to let's have a look what would be the updated version so very first of all i'm going to remove this instead of this we'll be going to use the, the we'll be going to use some other code and that code will be i'm going to tell you that but first of all let's make sure this is sum of sales and average of sales and here in region the code so the change in the code is instead of only providing only giving this selection as toggle one selection uh, we would be considering as a cell we consider it as cell cell toggle one dot selection dot selection zero value that's the value of the selection we will be going to do dot it would be pass it as an object into the and that's the query so let's done it and you can see still i'm not able to see the result if we preview and if we say total sale or if we click on total sale or every sale is not showing anything so let's go to and let's look at the error so error is uh, it says function does not have a type check definition s so let's look at the code and the code is this is the code and in toggle sum of sales total sale value sum of sales and average of sales that is fine so i just rewrite the code and after writing the code if we simply preview this so i'll simply preview it and i can see it's showing sum of sales so let's preview and we click on total sales so by default it is showing total sale but when i click on every sale it throws an error message it's not showing anything and i'm getting an error it's saying can't use a bar chart because the step requires at least one major and this is because this changes this change has been recently done in the updated version and because the chart is created in a spring 2018 version so we have to replace the column map section within an empty array for the columns property for the chart because when we change the query the set of fields will likely be different from what is in the column map section that's why it's not showing anything so what i will do is i will switch to edit mode press ctrl e and we look for the chart in widgets so that's the steps i look for widgets that's the widget this is the first widget pill box and in chart so we have a section called we need to look for a section and that section called column map so instead of this column map i'm going to use a property called column so we need to simple write one statement and that is the columns columns and bracket so a simple write columns and empty column section so i remove that column map and instead of that i rewrite this and click on done now let's preview so when we preview let's test it so it is showing total sale sum of sales when i switch to average sale it is it's changed to average sale so this was the major change which has been done in spring 2018 version in selection binding instead of directly selection it would be considered as sale cell and we need to remove the column map and that column map property should be leave as blank so i hope this video helps a lot of guys those who are struggling in uh, binding the toggle with the widgets using static steps so therefore if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel you can post your comment in comment box keep watching have a nice day goodbye